With Election Day just nine days off, the terms liberal and conservative are flying thick and fast. What leads a person to choose one political stance over the other? Personal testimonials now from contributors Nancy Giles and Ben Stein. You know something? If you liberals go on getting your way, we're all going to hear one big loud flush. <laughs> the objective of the liberals is to make America mediocre like everybody else who aspire to be like America. Your cause only accelerates and only advances when devastation happens. Come to think of it, that's liberalism. You see that? They make it sound like a curse word. It's not. It's cool. It's part of who I am. I'll say it loud. I'm a liberal and proud. Here's why. From the Oxford English Dictionary, liberal, adjective, willing to respect or accept behavior or opinions different from one's own. I grew up in Queens, New York, which, by the way, is the most diverse county in the United States. Just riding on the subway is a lesson in acceptance. I went to college in Ohio, worked in Chicago, did TV in Los Angeles, and gave a funny speech once in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And get this, there are different kinds of people, and they're fascinating. I mean, I like myself, but a country full of me? Could that work? Ultimately, no. I'm a liberal. I love the mix of voices and the larger perspective of or pertaining to representational forms of government rather than aristocracies and monarchies. The United States isn't run by the wealthiest or by some sort of birthright. We participate by our vote and elect leaders to represent us. President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address is a constant reminder. The government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. One person, one vote. That's a precious right, and that's liberal. Believing that government should be active in supporting social and political change. So there's the Constitution, and the founders built in the ability to amend it and to pass laws to form a more perfect union. Things like, oh, abolishing slavery and segregation, giving women the right to vote and to choose, repealing don't ask, don't tell, so regardless of who you love, you can serve in the military. Plus, our government has programs to help level the playing field so that everyone can succeed, like the GI Bill, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, Medicare, Pell Grants, Head Start, Unemployment. Is there anyone who hasn't benefited from at least one of these programs? Fairness, that's liberal. And tending to give freely, generous. Okay, the generous part I've overdone in some relationships working on that, but generally, giving is a good thing, right? In fact, there's a small town called Liberal, Kansas, founded in the late 1800s, and was thusly named because a landowner there named S.S. Rogers was liberal in letting others use his well when there were droughts. Giving, that's being a liberal. And in my humble opinion, there's nothing wrong with that. Why am I a conservative? Well, for one thing, probably many Republicans today would not consider me a proper conservative. I believe in raising taxes. That's my sin. I believe in balancing the budget both by cutting spending and by raising taxes on the very rich by a lot, since they can afford it, and by the ordinary rich by a good bit, and on the upper middle class by somewhat. We are not responsible conservatives if we leave a defaulted America to our descendants. And the budget cannot be balanced just by small cuts and discretionary spending. But in a much bigger sense, I am a conservative because I am afraid of big government. The 20th century was by far the bloodiest century that we know of in human history. The murder of tens of millions by the Nazis and the Communists in Europe and Asia were carried out by governments that claimed they were doing good things for the only people who counted. The pure Aryans or the proletariat or the inner circle of the dictatorship. The enslavement of much of Europe 2,000 years ago was carried out by big Roman imperial government. Where government is big, by definition, the individual is small. That means his or her life counts for little or nothing. For me as a conservative, the protection of the individual life at every stage is the goal of humanity. Not a worker's paradise, not a racially pure state of supermen, but a state where the protection of the ordinary human is paramount. I am a conservative not because I want to see a nation and a government where conservatives dominate, 
but because, in the phrase of my old pal, conservative political writer Aram Bakshian, I want to see an America where it is totally safe to be either a liberal or a conservative. And I'll add, in my own words, or a businessman, or a worker, or a white man, or a black man, or a Latino woman, or an Asian woman. I am a conservative because I want a government big enough to guard the nation and protect the truly needy among us, but far too small to kill us or imprison us in groups or as individuals. America is great because of individual freedom. Conservatives want to conserve that freedom. That is what we want to pass on to our generations to come.